looks really cold today. During the last week, I've started training for the Hamburg Marathon, which I've signed up for in April. It's gonna be my first European marathon and my first flat marathon as well. So I'm really excited and I've only just started training. This is my first big run that I'm going on. It's so cold, I've got three layers on today. <sighs> okay, let's go. trying out a new route today because I'm still fairly new to the area I don't really know many running routes so I'm just kind of experimenting at the moment I just kind of gone down this uh, under passage under a bridge and I feel like I'm just gonna either go in the same direction and back or get lost <laughs> lost now. I've ended up on a high street somewhere. I'm just gonna sit down a minute and figure out the best way to get back home. And it's starting to rain. Lovely. So today's probably my first really big run in preparation for the Hamburg Marathon in April. This is probably the earliest I've ever started training for a marathon. The reason being is because I want to be a bit more sensible this time around rather than just try and cram it all in within two months. Now, one of the main questions that I get asked pretty much all the time is why do you run? More specifically, why do you run crazy distances? Me really getting into running probably goes all the way back to when I was about 17 where I got really bad injured playing football, broke my leg in two places and it took me almost a year to get back to running. I kind of wimped out of really playing football on a regular basis again and on the odd occasion where I did play football I was jumping out of tackles, I wasn't really getting stuck in like I used to be so it basically meant I wasn't the same player. With running you kind of compete but there's no, there's no, like, there's no one trying to hurt each other, it's an incredible endurance challenge one of the biggest tests you could possibly put your body and your mind through and i just started to really enjoy it but the, the answer to why i like to run why i do it the freedom of it to me is essential when you're at that level of fitness where your body's in kind of cruise control and you're just in your own little world it's kind of a form of meditation there's no feeling like it when i was talking to you back then my camera was in a tree so it kind of looked like i was talking to a tree and this group of old people just came and sat down right next to where I was filming <laughs> and they were looking at me like I'm a crazy person. I'm gonna head home now. When I get home though, it's not the end of my training for today. I'm gonna to be doing some squats and some yoga, which is interesting. Got about four miles left and uh, it's getting dark already and it's not even that late. Just come back from a run, I've had my smoothie, and now it's on to the second part of my marathon training for today, which is squats. <sighs> it's gotta be done. That was three sets of 30 squats with the barbell on my back. Yeah, it was tough. Third part of my marathon training today is a yoga session. Can you hear Esme singing in the background? She's practicing. Now, I'm really, really new to yoga. I've only started doing it 
over the last week or so, but it's something that I've really wanted to do for a long time and something that was probably really necessary. I don't stretch as much as I should. I'm not that flexible. You can pay the price for that if you keep running marathons. Esme um, is actually into a yoga as well and we're doing this 30 day YouTube course that she showed me. It's called Yoga with Adrian. This is a YouTube page. And um, yeah, pretty good. What's up my friends? Welcome to day two of 30 days of the yoga camp with Adrian. I'm Adrian and today the mantra is I create. And I don't want anyone making fun of me for this, alright? This is serious stuff. Very serious. In the body and create space. Whenever you're ready, slowly lower the right leg down. See if you can really slow your roll as you squeeze the left knee up and in, slowly lower down. The lift, chin up towards the ceiling, gaze straight up and back. So we're not crunching here. Inhale, lower. Ankle over the left here. Grab the outer edges of the feet. Or you can grab the big toes with your peace fingers and your thumb. Inhale back to center and release. Feel a little silly if you're new to it, but after you get the hang of it, it feels pretty awesome. Great for the spine, really awesome to see that body. And when you exhale, press into your foundation, toss the feet. Take your time. Exploring. It's soft in the neck. So the knees can be bent as generously as Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you tomorrow. We have an exciting practice for day three. See you then. Take good care. Namaste. Definitely the hardest part of today. The last bit of training today is foam rolling. I need to do it a lot more. It really hurts. Thanks for watching this video of me starting my training for the Hamburg Marathon in April. Hope you enjoyed it. See you soon.